hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you how to make a delicious fresh catfish stew recipe this right here is a bomb so delicious and it's packed with so much flavor so if you're interested come with me and let's dive into it so first here i have my already cleaned catfish which i'm just going to go ahead and transfer to a bigger bowl so to firm this fish and to prevent it from breaking while cooking i'm going to add some boiled water so just boil some water and add it to the fish this will help firm the fish and prevent it from breaking inside your stew or your soup so you're going to let this sit in the water for about one minute And after one minute, I'm going to go ahead and drain this water. Then I will transfer the fish to a clean and dry bowl. And we're going to leave the fish to sit in this bowl for two minutes because I want it to air dry. So I'm going to be seasoning this fish. I need it to be very, very flavorful. You don't just want your fish to be blunt. You don't want it to come out without any taste at all. So I'm going to be using all the spices, you know, to fill this fish with so much love. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and just mix all the spices together. I have my rosemary, black pepper, chili pepper, coriander. I have uh, thyme, salt, and I added garlic, onion, and ginger powder. Then I went in with seasoning powder. So just mix all of this together. So to help the spices sit well with the fish, I'm gonna drizzle the fish with some oil, and then I will toss it and allow it to mix well. And now go ahead and add the mixed spices. So I'm gonna add the mixed spices and we need the help of the oven, you know, to melt the spices into the fish we don't just want the spices to be on the surface so if you want it to be only on the surface do not go through the process of baking this in the oven so you can just use it the way it is but if you want all the spices to be in and out of the fish and if you need your fish to be very tasty loaded with flavor you are going to need the help of the oven to melt the spices into the fish all right, so here I have my wire rack lined with a parchment paper. So I'm just using a knife to make a cut on the parchment paper so the liquid from the fish can have place to escape from. So I'm just going to place the fish on the wire rack, then place this in my preheated oven and bake at 180 degrees for 15 minutes. We don't want the fish to be fully dry. All I want is the help of the oven to melt the spices into the fish. So here are the things for the stew. I have onion, one frying pepper, I have two red bell peppers, scotch bonnet peppers, I have tomatoes, and here I have garlic and ginger. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend these roughly. If you really want to enjoy catfish stew, do not blend your pepper too smoothly. Just blend roughly and then set aside. So here are the fish guys. After 15 minutes, they are looking so beautiful and they taste so delicious. So I'm going to set aside and then place a pot on the heat. And now I'm going to add some oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I'm using some vegetable oil. So once the oil is hot, I will then go in with some chopped onions. So I'm going to stir fry this for about two minutes or until the onion is crispy. So after two minutes for flavor, I'm going to be adding some thyme and curry powder and for extra flavor, for extra deliciousness, I've just added some ground crayfish. Now you want to stir fry this and allow that crayfish, the curry and the thyme to infuse into this oil for one minute. And after one more minute, go ahead and add the blended pepper mixture. And now you want to mix all of this to combine nicely. You don't want to miss this recipe for this Christmas guys. What are you waiting for? 
try this recipe and guys the aroma is heavenly so now i'm going to cover and allow this to cook and dry for about 12 minutes so this is 12 minutes later and my stew is looking so beautiful and the aroma guys is so heavenly so now i'm going to go in with some seasoning powder and here i have some leftover from the fish seasoning i will add that as well then now you want to mix and stir fry this for extra two minutes you want that seasoning and the spices to infuse into your stew and after two minutes guys the stew is ready so now go ahead and add your fish just add that delicious fish that beautiful fish guys oh my god i don't want to tell you what i'm feeling right now so you have to grab your ingredient make this and feel exactly as i'm feeling right now so i'll just add the fish then just gently mix this mix gently then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of water then i will cover and allow it to cook for extra 10 minutes on low medium heat you don't want to over pressure the stew because you don't want the fish to scatter inside your stew so that's another method to cook catfish if you don't want to you know to steam it with hot water when you're cooking it do not over pressure the heat otherwise it will scatter so just cook it on low medium heat and guys after 10 minutes our stew is ready looking so delicious so flavorful and the aroma guys oh my god it's something you need to try all right so now go ahead and serve this enjoy with some white rice yam plantain or dish it the way it is and enjoy so guys i hope you enjoyed this recipe if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up just click on the like button and to share with your friends and family and please do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and click on the bell notification so you don't miss out on my videos thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in my next video don't go anywhere come and join me and i see it